Good morning, good morning. Got my purple coffee cup. Oh yeah, just brimming to the top to match my purple robe. Morning hair, don't care. Good morning, good morning. It has been a little bit and it has been highly requested that I do a week in the life type video. We have so many things going on right now. One thing happening is we do have a few days of, hold on, let me get coffee. This will help the words. Mm -hmm. Thank you, coffee. Second trimester, I can do the coffee now. Uh, we have a few days of nice weather, like in the 70s, and then we're supposed to have a bunch of rain. So we've been trying to really take the extra time here and work on the pool. They worked on it a bunch yesterday. So today, kind of our little plan for the day is we've got Bunch of school stuff this morning, some piano, then the rest of the day, pool time. Also, grandmother is coming in a few days, and we have a pony coming in a few days. Many interesting stories with him, so lots will be going on at this week in the life. Well, friends, this video is, this is future JMRL. I filmed this video about two weeks ago, lots of adventures. We get our pony that was saved from the meat market. We go to the dairy farm. We did not bring any cows home. You're gonna see all kinds of fun adventures in this video. Just want to remind you, everything in my large family table shop is on sale up to 75% off, limited time. Haven't had a sale in over a year. So click the first link in the description below and go over and see what I'm cooking up. Morning, Liam. Liam's having his hot chocolate, having our morning time out here on the fall themed porch. What you think, kitties? I'm practicing on coffee. You're practicing, you'll be ready. It's, Lots of, uh huh? It's because we're young. Yeah, all the kitties. Lots of folks have said, Jay Morrell, get a leaf blower. We have one. It's got a real heavy backpack, so we wait for all the leaves. We obviously here are going to have all the leaves. We're also, Travis is eyeballing, searching for the best deal on um what is it called liam it's a leaf it's a leaf vacuum yeah that goes behind the riding mower so anyway that's some uh in, important landscaping and yard work updates You got your morning hot chocolate too? Uh-huh, on your llama cup. You wanna sit with the kitties at the kitty table? <laughs> You're sitting sitting over there with the kitties. Actually one kitty. One kitty. Are you practicing? Why is the door open? I don't it'll close. That one's slow to close. Yeah, but it's cool how it I had I had a kitty get stuck yesterday. He tried to follow me in. I shut one door, but this other one was slow to close. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the kitchen and I walked back and he was there with both paws up looking at me. I think it was Slash, the one you have, so Amelia. We got everybody going on their school except for Dan the man. Him and I are gonna go for a walk though real quick. We're gonna get the mail, aren't we? Uh, mm -hmm. We're gonna oh get the mail wife, first. I'm gonna go out and get the rest of Gabriel's dinosaurs. And then on his break, he's gonna go out and get the rest of Gabriel's dinosaurs. So we're just gonna go see what's in this mailbox. Woo! Benjamin is out with Travis and Zion right now. Look at you, you running backwards? Woo, 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 woo. Otherwise he'd be here doing the mailbox trek with us. Wow, this is like speak of the devil. Daniel was just telling me, remembering walking down the road at the forest house when we saw the dead black snake, and look what that is. A dead black snake? It's a dead black snake right there. It made me squeal like a girl. That is funny. I mean, not funny for the snake, but funny that you were just talking about that. And then I looked over and I saw one. Whoa, Hi, what do buddy. you think, Friendly? Friendly likes to go on our walks with us. Crazy, crazy, crazy. You're getting all your wiggles out, aren't you? Woo, woo, hopping, 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 jumping, 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 skipping, woo, woo, dancing, dancing backwards. <laughs> we got the mail, huh? Now listen, if we can, let's listen for the crickets. Listen to this, country life. We're gonna see that dead black snake. We are gonna see the dead black snake. So many crickets. You want me to carry that? Carry your box. Can I carry your magazine? You want to carry the box? Or I you want to carry the box if you carry the magazine. Okay, okay, I got See, People can have a magazine. People can have magazines, that's right. Good job, Daniel. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. 
So then, garden planning talk. I had a thought this morning when I was on the porch having coffee and hot chocolate with Liam and Amelia, and I was thinking, okay, wait a minute. Maybe we need to just move our garden. I mean, now that we've, you know, lived here and been getting to know the place, um, this area in here, where we move the meat bird dome around, it just gets tons of sun. Tons of sun. I mean, I know we got some shade going on, but it's about noon now. Just tons of sun. So I'm wondering, you know, like I could have this tree taken out. It's a big old tree. Um, maybe I should just do a garden area in here. I already talked about how with moving the meat bird dome around in here, you know, we've got lots of fertilizer started. <laughs> the ducks and geese and such are going to talk to us. See, like even over this way, I could have these trees out and then we could just pile stuff on. I'm just, I'm thinking out loud. Let me know your thoughts. But I'm, I'm wondering, I'll show you the whole, the whole lay of the land here. Um, yeah, I'm just wondering. Of course, in here looks dry. So there's that. But here, you know, here it's lush. Um, we've had the dome here, as you can tell. I don't know, just, I was just thinking, thinking thoughts, thinking all the thoughts. Sent Daniel in to put the mail up. His, uh, his little school time only takes him about two hours or so. And I'd much rather younger kids play and get extra energy out. Hey, jokers. Hi there, this is our uh, death row right now for these guys. I actually have found a home for another one of the roosters. So that is good. And then with the three roosters that have been here, we added one back into our main hen population. So that's good. And some of the chickens are out. So here's one of our girls. And then there's Victoria, my favorite bantam. Hey, girlfriend. So these are the ladies that just didn't end up going into the yard last night. But I will let the other ones out today. Sometimes they get out first thing in the morning. Sometimes it's lunchtime. Sometimes it's four. How y'all doing? Huh? You want out? You want to come and see the world? Okay. Ready, set, go. One out. That's a white leghorn. Yes, yes. Go, go, go. You can do it. Come on. Oh shoot, I forgot, the cat food is out. <laughs> so that is where, yeah, you need to go feed yourself. And you can see they make, <laughs> make a run for it. Okay, I need to go put that cat food up. They, they know too many of our patterns here. Yes, girl, yes, yes. Oh, here's another one. Yes, that's one of our Easter eggers. Hey, beauty. Mm-hmm, there's another little bantam. There's a black Asian. Our old girl barred rocks. And then we have a boy goat and girl goat together because we've been working on making some goat babies. And I was super thrilled about this. So that's just our little outdoor A-frame building that came with the house. I sent Travis the other night because we're trying to get our hay stocked up for winter. And so I had him get 20 bales. It did not even fill a third of that house believe it or not and those are like 50 pound bales i want to get 150 bales of hay stored up pretty much thinking like pretty much thinking like november through march so anyway he can go back and get probably 40 more bales to fit in there and then we've got some other places we're going to do the rest of our hay storage and that's how that's working out for this year i told you see they didn't tell everybody okay girls you got to go get your bugs you're not eating the cat food Okay, it's like late night, evening, windblown mama. Been a good day, been doing all the things. Got some, got one video filmed for a sponsor. Kids finish school. We've been working on this pool the last few hours and so the pool is up. Fingers crossed, we're ratchet strapping it to various go-karts and such so it can sit overnight until we can get back to work with the liner and other details tomorrow afternoon. But like the walls are up and the steel posts are up. 
Yes, and uh, this mama ordered Chinese food for dinner. Yes, I did, because I'm done. Double done, 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 done. That's okay, there's grace in ordering Chinese food. It's Thursday evening now. We had a full day. The pool, I really need to take you to show you that pool. It'll be tomorrow. Stay tuned, the pool is coming up. Uh, that has been worked on late afternoon into this evening. I went to the doctor today to get my thyroid scan. The technician said I have the most beautiful thyroid of a 41 year old she's ever seen. So praise the Lord, no nodules, nothing, nothing exciting. Just a, she just told me my thyroid was beautiful. And I said, thank you. I, you know, things you never thought you'd want to hear. And then you realize, oh, that's just what I wanted to hear. Also got my lab results back last night, and I know this might come out in another video. You might have already heard this. I'm sorry. Maybe this is news to you. Maybe it is not. Uh, there was some thyroid level concern. Got my lab results back last night. All my thyroid levels are perfect and within normal limits. So. The one weird reading was in reference to the first trimester and that weird reading was within normal limits for the first trimester. I will probably end up doing a whole video about this, but in real time when I'm filming this week in the life, just got that news last night, just went and had my thyroid scan today. So meaning, praise the Lord. I'm just thankful for this news. So. That's, you know, to, that took up my early afternoon. So anyway, this evening, this is like working mom life now. I need to do a video, a sponsor video here for YouTube. And I'm, I'm doing pumpkin, let's just see if I can say it right, but I'm not, I'm not gonna try pumpkin cinnamon rolls. Just try to say it. I'm also doing a, uh, a soda sloppy joes on the stove top recipe. You can use any soda you have. I'm doing this video. The recipe's been up on my blog for years. We're doing it with Dr. Pepper. Uh, the kids, it's just like a really fun kid thing. My kids can't remember the last time they have, have had it. It's been a while, probably been at least a year since we just had regular Sloppy Joes. Anyway, Dr. Pepper Sloppy Joes coming up tonight. So that's what I'm working on this evening. As I said, behind the scenes, working mom life. Day is done, but I'm cooking stuff and filming. Yay. Morning, Benjamin. Are we up first? Yeah. Yeah, Benjamin is having, are you having your party? He wanted a peanut butter sandwich. We got little dinosaur cutters. Almost look like little dinosaurs. And you have your grapes and some apple juice and a yogurt. And yogurt. You you are just ready for the day. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go. Gotta go get my coffee, man. Get our day going. I'm not a man. You're not a man. No, you're a Benny. You're a Benjamin. Benjamin David Stewart. That's right. That is who you are. We also, we saw kitties out the window, didn't we? I saw Sneaky Sneakers Jr. was out there, yes. On the chair. Aha, uh -huh, they are on the chair. Just seems like on this fall morning we should have some candles going. Good morning, happy weekend, crazy hair. Gonna do that a little later. Wanted to get outside, heating my coffee up for the fifth time, of course. Wanted to get outside. Grandmother is here. We have had an exciting time. Yesterday, our pony came. I mentioned over on Instagram, so if you're not following me over on Instagram, uh, that's just a fun way to get more like real-time updates. Don't have to wait for editing or anything like that. So yesterday was pony day. We have been on the hunt for the perfect older gelding pony for quite a while. My mom is a horse expert. She's in her 70s, still rides side saddle professionally, has had horses since she was four years old. She knows horses, it's her thing. So we have been on the hunt for the perfect pony for the kids. And so I shared a picture on Instagram a week or so ago of a pony that we bought. We bought him without actually meeting him. You can just do, kind of like you can buy a car online, you can buy a horse online. 
but we watched many videos, many special videos my mom requested, um, and she can see a lot just by watching a horse. So the other thing we were looking for is we wanted like an older camp pony, a pony that had been ridden by kids of all levels, all day, every day for years. So this pony is about 17. He was a camp pony for most of his life. He has very little to no fat, you know, low muscle tone, all of that. So he has to be fed properly. He has to be exercised gently, and he has to just get his strength and his health back. Now, he actually looks really perky, but there's no way that we would ride him at this point, if this makes sense. But my mom is here. She helped us get him set up yesterday. Uh, she showed me exactly how to do his feed last night that I'll be doing twice a day. Different things also such as we wouldn't give them, like he came with a bag of peppermints, uh, we're real high sugar treats. <laughs> and so we won't be doing that for him. We did, you know, very thin sliced carrots. He eats those out of my hand. He had a great first night, loves his hay. He had absolutely no issues with, which again, this is what you don't know. You, you think this is what you're getting. Uh, but with dogs barking, guinea hens making noises, various <laughs> roosters crowing, found out my favorite bantam hen, Victoria, is a bantam rooster named Victor Vito now. Mm-hmm. Crowing up a storm. Thanks, Victoria. <laughs> Victor has been in there with Durango, doing his little bantam rooster crows. All that to say, like, there's acorns falling from the trees. There's lots of noises. And again, acorns following, falling and various poultry and dogs and cats. There's a lot going on. Goats. This horse just eats his hay and acts like it's nothing. So it's wonderful. The kids, I didn't film any yesterday because you know we were all focused on getting to know the new pony. Uh, they brushed him yesterday, worked all over him. It was just a really, it was like a perfect first day. So all that to say, at some point today, you will be meeting Durango, our rescue pony. And breed wise, he's a hackney pony. Uh, so he's like just like a little fancy pony. And we weren't sure with his name. I also mentioned this on Instagram because, you know, Durango kind of sounds like a cowboy pony name. And I was thinking by some of the videos, well, maybe he's more of a prince. I don't know. Uh, but we met him yesterday. He's just got big, sweet eyes. And it just, he feels like a little boy to me, even though he's a 17 year old experienced pony. Uh, I just think Durango fits him. It just seems like, you know, that's his name. That's his name. And with an older, experienced horse, actually their lifespan, they can live into their 30s with good care. And my mom has had rescue horses. Uh, one of hers lived to be 43, which, you know, that's a good life for a horse. So it's wonderful that we have her directing our care and holding our hand. And when she leaves, we're gonna have a whole list of daily little things to work with him on and such. So there will be more to come later today. So we got good morning breakfast, orange juice for an army. So we've got breakfast toast and some applesauce because some folks like applesauce on their oatmeal. It's great. So that's breakfast for this morning and the stack of bowls to fill. Okay, so this is not a pony. We have had uh, super mega rain here this afternoon. We did go outside and do a ton of animal and farm work jobs and got the, the pony. Like yesterday, we gave him a water bucket. I know, we've got we've got talking hand and grilled cheese here. Uh, but today we got his water trough set up, which is, you know, funny to do in the rain, but that's just what you do. Of course, here I am cooking again. It just seemed like with the rain, some grilled cheese and some soup, you know, that's what you do. So doing some grilled cheese now for a late lunch. Yes, friends, this is future Jay Morrell here. Mm -hmm. I dr I'm dropping into this video, this Week in the Life video that I filmed two weeks ago. Future Jay Morrell is filming this segment now to remind you that the entire Large Family Table shop is on sale right now, up to 75% off. What I am currently doing, I've got 12 pounds of sausage, one in my cast iron Dutch oven, one in my cast iron pan, because I am filming 40 breakfast freezer meals this afternoon for my my brand new large family freezer meal pack 10. Then this weekend, I'm gonna cook up pack 11, which is full of kids' lunches, and then I'm gonna cook up pack 12, which is full of wonderful, healthy dinners for the entire family. All 12 of my large family freezer meal packs are included in my mega get it all deal that you can click the first link in the description below. You get everything in my shop, all of those freezer cooking packs, my different slow cooker meal plans, 
bacon cookbook, another freezer meal book. It's a lot. It's a, that's why it's a mega deal. Hi, Amelia. It's mega and lots. You can get the entire shop for up to 75% off. It is officially 75% off with the mega deal. So run over there now, limited time sale, but I haven't done a sale in over a year. So that's why I'm doing a huge super mega sale for you guys right now. Cause several moms have been asking me like, Jim Merle, when's this going on sale? So here it is. This is your chance to get it. Get it now. First link in the description below. Now we're going to go back in time to two weeks ago. Yes and amen. Got my good and holy McDonald's iced coffee. Thank you, Travis. He took trash and came home with coffee. There you go. There's a man for you. So let's see. Still raining today. All the kids are done with school except Gabriel has one more thing to finish up. Then they will be going outside and doing pony training and lessons. I'm working with the pony with grandmother. I have two things. I have to film for two different sponsor segments for videos coming up. And I have two dinner recipes I have to film. So that is that is life this Monday afternoon. I'll show you my big pile of ravioli here for what I'm getting ready to film here in a minute. <laughs> so much ravioli and cheese and sauce. We're gonna do that baked, easy baked ravioli recipe. So it's, it's raining still. It's like all the rest of the vlog is gonna be. Although tomorrow we have a field trip to the dairy farm and it's not supposed to rain and Finally finishing up those last few pool things. I think we just have to do the filter. And then the water is gonna be delivered Wednesday. Water was supposed to be delivered today, but you know, delays, delays. So once the kids were done with their schoolwork this afternoon, then I hear some ducks quacking. Um, once the kids are done with their schoolwork this afternoon, them and my mom have been outside working with Durango, the new pony. So let's go down and check out what they're doing. So Miss Amelia is out here. You doing some walking with Durango? Hey buddy. And then this is actually fun feeling memories about 50 years old now. This was my pony saddle from back in the day and my mom got stuff to refinish it, but it's gonna be part of Durango's training. Hey buddy, hi. Miss Amelia's giving you your exercise. Okay, yes, they've been doing pony school all afternoon, evening now. So now I can finally do something with my big pile of ravioli. Happy Tuesday. Today we are going out with one of our homeschool groups. We're doing a field trip to a dairy farm. Travis is getting us parked. They have, I think, 600 cows here. They milk three times a day. We're gonna, we're gonna visit us some cows. So we have found the farm puppy. Hey, sweetie. Oh, the farm puppy. Greeting everyone. They said they get about, what was it, 6,000 gallons a day, something. Big tank. And then here's the upstairs view. Huh? Look at their heads. I see, yeah. Hey, girls. 
so they're treating us really well at the dairy farm. Here we go. We are going. I think we're going up to see the turkeys. I see. Oh, there goes the doggies. Yes, they got little baby cows on those calf hutches. Look, oh, look, that one's pretty. Oh, it's all white. That one's all precious. Look at them. Those are probably the mamas about to have babies. They got the bellies. Yeah, everyone loves the big tractors here. And they're hay. Look there. Oh, they're talking to you. I said this is a little different than our six turkeys. They are. Happy Thanksgiving. It's our grain system. No doubt, Liam is up there in that equipment. <laughs> Liam's in there. Daniel's over here. Did you find your tractor? There you go, Daniel, your first car. Big tractor. Hey, girls. Hey. Oh, oh. So this cow here, she is in a birthing pen, it looks like. She's got some stuff coming out the back. Liam's getting up close and personal. So then these are newborn ones. Little ones, some of them, they still have their cords hanging. <laughs> you wanna try that? Yeah, well they're babies. They're doing, doing what's instinctive to them. <laughs> that one's oh, baby cow. <laughs> so Amelia's ready to be a cow mama. <laughs> Look at that. I know. She says, oh, mama. We are home now. Amelia and I are up in the garden. We are taking down our tomato cages. I shouldn't leave them out through the winter. We've already taken down our other trellises. Getting the tomato cages pulled out now. Guess we'll put them in one of the rooms in the basement and uh, start again next year. So obviously this is not how things are staying but I thought I'd show you the pool progress. They had taped a shop vac in here to help with getting the wrinkles out. Travis could explain it to you, but he's over on his bulldozer. Uh, they worked today on leveling. This is where the filter is gonna go. This um, liner is not gonna stay overhung like this. I think that's the last big project. Well, the liner and the filter equipment hookup, but. Travis is saying tomorrow. Oh, and well, there's there's like five things or so to be done. The top still needs put on, and this will be tucked inside. There you go. And then we'll be putting the top on. We'll have equipment here. Probably gonna have a deck built all the way around it. But you can see it's coming along. Oh, and another thing on Travis's list, we're gonna do um He's doing a barrier here, and then we're gonna get some like tan and white and brown assorted rocks to go around. Let's see if I can get back here and give you a better, better view on how it's going. 
So there it is, it's 28 feet across. I think our water guy, who's gonna be coming day after tomorrow, said it's 18,000 or so gallons. And then I know I've been talking about it, but I hadn't shown you. This is where, when they delivered it, where they dropped it off. So here you go. So yes, packages of things have been there. It's taken a couple weeks, working a little bit here and there. We've had rain days and days with other projects, but we are so close to being done. So Travis thinks that tomorrow morning will officially be the day. And then the water man is coming the next day. We were originally having him come on Monday. It's kind of like my own projects. He was gonna come on Monday. And so now it turns out he'll be coming on Thursday. But that's okay, because we're almost done. And we'll have a pool for 2021. So yay, I will show you more once it's completely done. I have not talked to my builder contractor folks yet to see about when they can get out here to build a deck on it. But I wanna get on their list to do that. So. There's the pool updates. And there you go, there's a Travis sighting. He's over in the woods over there. He's pushing down trees, clearing stuff. His equipment there just stopped. He's got it going again. Yeah, so progress, huh? Saying goodbye from future Jay Morrell. Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. Remember, click the first link in the description below to head over to my large family table shop to get everything for up to 75% off all the freezer meal packs, all the things, all the things. First link in the description below. Bye-bye.